Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I get to finally play Horizon Forbidden West. Um game I've been looking forward to for quite some time. Really, really enjoyed the original. I've had that on my PS4 Pro. And now I had it on PC. Now the sequels finally came out, which I previously owned on the PS5, but didn't really finish it. So this is gonna be pretty much my first playthrough. So going through the settings now, playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160. Using 120 hertz refresh rate, I am using NVIDIA Reflex low latency. However, I'm not using HDR in this video. That will be for another time. I'm not using any dynamic upscaling. This is fully native and I'm also using DLAA as an anti-aliasing method. So this is deep learning anti-aliasing. It's not upscaling. As you can see, all upscaling methods are off. However, the game does support DLSS, Intel XCSS, AMD FSR. So you're pretty much got every everything under one roof in terms of the settings everything has been maxed out as you can see not everything goes to very high some only go to high and there's a plethora of settings you can increase the field of view all the way to 25 but if this is anything like the spider-man games it will give you a bit of a fisheye effect so you don't want to push too too much especially if you're playing 16 by 9 like me um motion blur i'm not a fan as you guys know um, when it comes to vignette, I turn that off and chromatic aberration as well. So that is it for the in-game settings. Let's get into it. Running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, they'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole.
This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So, what are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um, I should- Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. But you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Wow, what an intro. I've seen this before on my PS5, These of course. These plants but... don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. But seeing it again, um, in full, full 4K. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. Um, it's just as impressive, man. Um, there was quite a lot of frame spikes I noticed, which wasn't great. Uh, hopefully that was just some shader compilation being done in the background of the cutscene. They were trying to kind of do it without you noticing, but it was definitely noticeable. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well... At least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, yeah maybe. good idea. Look there, more of the blight. <coughs> oh, this stuff spreads fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. I just don't know how you can do this with under 10 gigabytes of VRAM. The game looks absolutely insane, but texture-wise. This is on the Decima engine as well. They do an amazing job of it. Oh yeah. The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... 
A set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. You notice you're uh, traveling light these days. Yeah, I am. Uh, ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Yeah, I was wondering why she doesn't have all the weapons that she usually has. Like, obviously they don't want you to start the game overpowered. I'm just taking in all the graphics. Interestingly enough, I don't remember seeing any ray tracing options, but the screen space is still pretty amazing. You just really look at... You traveled a long way to get here. I almost caught up to you a couple times too. But it's not easy keeping up with a machine rider. You always were a good tracker. Okay, I need to get down. Find a safe way down. Let me go this way. Hmm. Salvaging machine carcasses <laughs> as usual. <coughs> and there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. When it's not frame skipping, it does run pretty well, getting over 100 frames per second at native 4K completely. That's actually pretty good. With the upscaling and the additional oh, frame generation, Better take a closer look. Um, you can really, really crank up uh, the performance if you really wanted to. But I just wanted to see what the, uh, the base performance was like without any kind of aids, shall we call them. Machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. But good thing we have some arrows of our own. Might be trouble about. Yeah, there definitely will be. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the that hit it. After you. Typical tutorial stuff, but it needs to be done. Man, this game just looks amazing. I'm just going to keep saying that throughout this Blind gameplay because it is pretty stunning. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um,. What happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. And then why did they send you? Down this way. Have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Okay. Concentrate. Thought there'd be more where that came from. Another one's coming. Could be faster than that. Oh, 
How does the Focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. I see another ladder. Arrows. Looks like it's stuck. So, after the fuss people were leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city, and I set out to find you. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. They clarify how many years since the original. Well, she seems at least four or five years older. Yeah, so far the game runs well. Going into a ruin of the old ones. Welcome to the God far Zenith us. launch facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please okay. register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you, Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. That avatar is a strange resemblance to Zuckerberg. I don't think that's by uh, mistake. Please hold for identity scan. I should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Yes, someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. Why doubt? They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. <laughs> and it looks like something big came in from above. Crash right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take it's a left. look at the rubble in that gap. Yeah, it's left a massive, massive amount of uh, debris behind. Let's have a look at the debris. Yep. Find anything good? A few supplies. We'll do with this, blow it up, maybe. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. What have you found? Some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Okay, let's play scavenger hunt Poor real guy. quick. Acid burned right through his armor. Hmm. 
part of a machine. Could help fix the gears. Okay. Anything else I can use? There's something over there. I still can't get over how much VRAM this game uses at native 4K max settings and it looks this good. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. Okay, more tutorial stuff. But I'll get through it as quickly as I can. I'm going to drop my on-screen display real quick. So. It's a sold aid to craft, really. I guess there wasn't nothing to it. There. Uh... Pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. Okay, let's select the tool. So the pole caster is a versatile tool that allows you to manipulate objects in the environment that have a braided pattern. So I've got to look out for this. How do you use it though? So you just hold LT and tap Y. And then you just aim, I guess, and throw. Hold. Okay. Simple enough, I guess. Okay, that worked better what? than I thought. Doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? Check it out. What's this? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Something of interest. Wonder what's in this auditorium. So jump from tap A to use the grapple. Wow, that works. That pole caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Let's see what this is before I go. Hmm, guess I can't scan it. Moving tap L to sprint and check. They basically just got to jump across. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Can I shoot it or do I have to go all the way down? Shooting it is not working. Yeah, guess not. There you go, Varl. Thanks. This is just pure eye candy. Humans, Homo sapiens, us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. 
When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Error. Makes sense. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. It's like a high climb. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. Okay, which way do we go? I still can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. For good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Among the stars. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. Size of it. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. The graphical quality is just insane. I just have to stop and take a look at it sometimes because this is just amazing. Up here. Okay. Careful. Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one, I'll deal with the one on the right. 
Okay. Okay, guess we gotta use a little bit of stealth this time. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Try and get as close as possible. Okay, nice. One up there as well. Grab this stuff. Saw me. Throw a rock, see if I can lure it over here. Okay. Gotcha. At least he's dealt with it. Mine's down too. Took your time. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. Okay. Try and draw this one in. Maybe I can get close enough for the silent strike from the from the leaves. On your lead. Coming to investigate. Let's just stay hidden. Let's try and draw it in with a rock. Striking range now. Okay, so far so good. Just make sure I've got enough arrows. One more here. If we can get it to come up here. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight this one. you have a new look these days <laughs> yeah I know didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you don't worry it's not permanent good sorry my whiskers offend you anointed <laughs> you weren't feeling the bit the Osram must have used explosives against the machines they managed to get a couple have a look around. Grab all of this. Go straight through here. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. Yeah, if you get close enough. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. And not blow yourself up. Dismantled it. And got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. 
Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Okay, to craft a blast trap that's all down. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osirum shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. That's what I'm looking for is over here. I'll use the grapple again. Attention. Should have to silent strike it if it gets close enough. Hmm. Just avoided it in time. Let's keep going then. Gotta get up there somehow. Lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? Okay, we're good. Oh, let's hope it doesn't come this way. That's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger and more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Looks like we've got to climb up. Yeah, let's do it. This place is really falling apart. Well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase One. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase two, the asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. 
Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, bro. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Okay, it's quite a lot of information they're throwing at you, but um necessary to grasp the story. Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Oh yeah, I won't stop. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Last launcher. Familiar with that. Scan around. See what we can do. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Same direction we're going. Great. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight that fight. Those machines. I could try with a new weapon on it. Yep, yeah, I guess we could. I can do more damage to it while it's brittle. I'm gonna switch to my bow. Gotcha. Machine couldn't take the cold. All the awesome Dovers. There's a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Looks like we can cross over here. Just about so. made it. You said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Could be part of Parzina too? No. He was worse. Imagine going up to the stars in that. Yeah. Well, definitely is the word. This just looks absolutely stunning.
Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. Okay, I want to do a few silent attacks. We have to take them out. Oh, they don't team up too well. This one should come and investigate. Hopefully. Find out why its body's down. Two down. <laughs> Try to lure this one in. Are you? Okay. Now how to get out of here? There's a ladder. There's a ladder in the back. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands. As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. Okay, where do we go from here? All looks the same. Another ladder, I must have missed it. Okay, looks like we've got a climb up on our hands. Oh, stuck there. They slaughtered all those Osirum. We'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement, convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. Alright guys, I think I'll leave it there. I don't want to show the first boss fight straight away. That was just an introduction to uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Um, and I have to say, it just looks absolutely stunning. I mean, I've seen it before on my PS5, but not like this. And to play at 60 FPS with no dynamic scaling as well, it's uh, it's pretty special. So that's pretty much it for me, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.